Hi, I'm Zach, and I participated in FLL for four years, and then I was a FLL mentor for my entire high school career. So today we're going to talk about strategy. After you get the game and you get this game video and everyone's really excited, how do you put that excitement to use in picking which missions to do and making a robust design? So I like to start with team goals, deciding where your team wants to be at the end of the season. And you can have that lead into sort of how many points you're expecting to get. If you're trying to win the state competition, you may need to accomplish, you know, six or seven missions. And if you're trying to win the regional competition, maybe you only need three or four. Uh, that's a team decision, but it's something to consider. So maybe once you have, give or take, the amount of points or the amount of missions you want to achieve, how are we going to do that? How are we going to pick between all of these awesome missions? Well. I'm going to try to give you sort of a way to think about that. And the first thing is repeatability and robustness. Uh, picking missions that you know you can accomplish 100% of the time. You only have, you know, a few attempts at any tournament and you really want them to all count. And then sort of going along with that, but slightly different is how easy is the mission? Are you going to have to design a mechanism that requires three motors to function? Because that's not going to probably work too well. And then is it fun? You have to do the missions that are fun because if they're not, you're, it's, you know, your time in FLL is not going to be uh, enjoyable. So how are we going to pick what's repeatable and what's robust? Anything closer to base is in general going to be more repeatable and more robust. And then anything also that you can use to navigate to something is going to help it become more repeatable, and more robust. So using lines or using the walls to sort of like flatten yourself against is going to make a mission more repeatable. And then how do we decide something's easy? Well, like I said, you can look at the mechanisms. You know, do you require a mechanism to spin something and to push something, or is it just a shove? And then you also want to consider, once you've looked at the mechanisms that you potentially are going to want, how close to base something is, and how you can navigate there, you want to look at how you can group them together. You don't necessarily want to do one mission and every outing, if you can put two or three together, that's going to save you a lot of time. And that's going to save you also potentially having to switch out mechanisms, which also saves time. So let's look at City Shaper here as an example. If you look at how many points every individual mission gives you, you'll notice that most of them are very similar, except for the design and build, which involve pushing these blocks into these different circles. And that's actually where I think the majority of your points are going to come from. So when you design your robot, you should probably design so you can do the design and build mission. And then noticing what's close to base, like what we talked about, these three circles here are the closest. So doing those three circles seems like a must. It seems like you know, something you really should be able to do, because also the mechanisms needed for that are going to be pretty easy. So that right there sort of saw, um, qualifies on all of our categories. But then looking a little further down the field, like I said, it's harder to navigate, but we can look at this line and we can see that this line brings us near the roadblock and the swing set. So this right here could be a really good group of missions once you've you know, completed maybe the, the circles here to get you a few points that you can navigate through. And the mechanisms, at least for the swing, are gonna be pretty easy. The roadblock may require a li little bit more innovation, but definitely a good engineering challenge. And then finally, let's look at the ramp. Uh, getting up a ramp like this is really fun because, I mean, everyone wants to do it. It's this massive thing in the middle of the field, but it's also challenging. Getting up this ramp repeatedly and not tipping off to the side, making sure you've navigated from home base all the way to the ramp is not easy. So when trying to do that mission, I would suggest working on that toward the end where you know your other missions are already repeatable and reliable. Uh, and I encourage you to go through and as sort of an exercise, you know, map out these missions, how close they are to base, what mechanisms you can potentially use, what ways you can get there, and how repeatable you think they're going to be. So that's our uh, discussion on strategy. Thanks.